Hello, Bearded Community. My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for everything beard related. And today, I'll be joined by my gorgeous wife, Sam C. Happy late Mother's Day to any beautiful, amazing mothers out there, and especially to my mom, Irene, and Sam, who is beyond amazing as a mother. Well, today we're gonna to be reviewing a company from Canada called Nickel City. And this is a beard company that has something to offer for everyone. And we're gonna break that down. We're gonna give you a little bit of info about them. We're gonna hit you with the price, everything you need to know about this company. And then finally, will I recommend them to you guys? So if you wanna learn more about them, please stay tuned. Company, a little bit of information about Nickel City Beard Blends. They're out of Ontario, Canada, and they are owned by Steph and Monique. As I kind of mentioned in an introduction, something that's pretty cool with them is not only do they treat the bearded man, they also have stuff for women and children, and that's something that really helps you guys, especially when you're ordering. I say throw something in there for the wife, so when that beard mail comes, you get a little bit less grief for it, and you're like, hey babe, look what I got you. And she gets equally as excited and gets into this hobby with you as well. So I love that. I love when these companies have other things than just beard products, and it's for the whole family. Another thing that's pretty cool and unique is in Canada, they have a partnership with their local Bearded Villains group, and they go together to do all sorts of good for different charities. And another thing that they do is they give a percentage of their profits every year to a foundation for sick children. So not only are they doing these amazing things for us, they're also giving back to the community, pairing up with a Bearded Brotherhood like the Bearded Villains, that's awesome. You love to see companies get involved in that. And I think up in Canada, they're doing it right. So that's a little bit about Nickel City Beard Blends. I hope you enjoyed their little introduction video clip. Any companies that I review or check out, I welcome you to send me a clip like that and I'll include it in here. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And I'm gonna give Nickel City Beard Blends an exact two dollar sign price rating. You can go on their website and get a one ounce bottle of beard oil for exactly 20 Canadian dollars. Now don't freak out, we gotta translate that to American dollars where we kind of base our ranking and translated to American dollars, it is $14.90 currently. That is the epitome of a $2 sign price rating. I'm also gonna throw a discount code in the profile or the description for you guys. And I believe it's spread the love 19, but make sure you check in there to see for sure. And that's gonna save you guys 10% and free shipping from Canada. Yes, 10% free shipping to the United States from Canada. That is huge. That should put this company on that watch list for you just for that fact alone. So not only are you gonna get a product for under $15, you're going to get free shipping with this. That makes it worth it to give it a try there. So absolutely a $2 sign price rating. And with that code, I have no affiliate, I have no kickback, no commission from that. This is just offered by them to help you guys out. Welcome Beardos. I've brought in the expert, the ladies touch, the female perspective, Sam C. Hello. Sam C, how was your Mother's Day this past Sunday? It was great. Did exactly what I wanted. Went and got mulch. Woo. Had my favorite Mexican lunch. We Best in the world. Went to Aldi and what else? Worked on the basement. Worked on the basement, worked on the house a little bit with some landscaping. Like, that may sound sarcastic, but that is her dream day. It really she is. She loves mulch and <laughs> loves going to stores like that. It sounds so weird. So, it was really cool. We did whatever she wanted, and yeah, really nice day. So, thank you for being an amazing mother. Thank you. All right. Today, Sam, we are going to take a look at Nickel City Beard Blend. Nickel okay. City Beard Blend. So, we've been trying this company out for 
couple weeks now, about two or three weeks, I've used the oils at least twice each, and Sam's been using some of the other products that I didn't try, mm -hmm. and so she'll be able to break it down there. But let's take a look first at the scents of the beard products. So the first one is Sweet Tang, and Sweet Tang is my favorite from this company. So what do you think about the smell here? Ooh. Sweet Tang. Sweet Citrus. Yeah, it's just straight up citrus. I was. Is it supposed to be Tang like the? I don't like, know. Drink? Yeah, do you remember Tang? That was that's childhood right there. No. Tang, and then what was the? Oh man, bug juice. Do you remember from the gas stations the little plastic I never thing? Got that. Oh, bug juice was just pure sugar water. <laughs> it was so good. So I don't know. I was worried when I read the name that it was going to be a spice citrus. I don't know if the Tang I thought would be in there for a spice. It's just a really nice. Citrus, I get orange as the most prominent yeah. smell. All I get is orange. Yeah, it's pretty much orange as a citrus here. Sweet orange. And it's really, really nice for an orange citrus. For someone like me, I love that. So one thing with this company is they're not gonna have crazy complex scents. They are what they say they are, and a lot of you appreciate that because you know <laughs> what you're buying. Orange oh. got stuck in my right. throat Film <laughs> Filming coffee, filming coffee, take a drink. All right, I had to switch it up today. The line at Starbucks was like 20 deep. It was crazy. Yeah. All right. Next one is Mocha Mint. Mocha Mint. Ooh, yes. This is of uh, Starbucks. This is Sam's style right here. Mocha Mint. Ooh, I I like that. Yeah. It's not. It doesn't. When I think of Mocha Mint in a beard oil, they're always like a very sweet coffee yeah. scent. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, it's very minty. It is, and you know I, I like love that. mint. And one danger with mint is it can start to smell like alcohol if you use too much mint. Okay. And in this one, it does not. And their scent strengths are a good solid six hours. They're not the longest in the world. They don't fade right away. They're right in that kind of medium strength, and they last about a full work day, so about six hours. So Mocha Mint, really, really good. I do like the Sweet Tang the most because I'm a citrus lover, especially as we move into summer here. You like citrus more than mint? For smells going into summer, I think so. Wow. I know. That's I, saying a lot. Folks. I know, but I do really, really like this. <laughs> and then the last one is the sticks. The sticks. Sticks. I was born and raised in the sticks. Not really. Wow, it smells like sticks. Yeah, it does. It's it's the woods. If you go out in the woods there, I do get, especially once it's in beard, the pine comes out. So I do get some pine scent in there, or evergreen. You guys, it literally smells like sticks. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't smell like the woods. It smells like you went and picked up some sticks and smelled them. That, yeah, to me, that sticks. to me, I do get the, the woods. I do get the woods smell out there for the <laughs> sticks. Sam just gets the sticks there. The sticks. And then we do have a beard balm. I don't have a matching oil, but I think there's a super cool combo here that I don't know if Sam will be able to pick out of the three, but this is called Stud Muffin. Stud and Muffin. Please tell me it yes. smells like muffins. They, they did a collab with me and they named it Stud Muffin. I'm just kidding. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Stud Muffin, what do you think it smells like? S to me, it is like chocolate chip muffins. Yeah, I was going to say... Chocolate. Yeah. I, don't, I don't... I get 100% chocolate chip muffins out of that. Okay. I get the muffins. Yeah. So me, I have to wear an oil, of course, and I want to wear it with the company to see what it feels like. So out of the three, which one do you think I mixed with stud muffin? It better not be sticks. No, no sticks. That's crazy. It, okay. It has to be mocha mint. Mocha mint and stud muffin is really nice together. It is like a mint chocolate muffin. So it's actually really enjoyable because usually when I don't get a matching oil and balm, I'm kind of bummed out and I say something. This is a really cool combo that I would have not discovered before if they didn't do that. So thank you guys. Really cool combo there. <laughs> check it out. If you like twisting it up, check out the mocha mint oil with the stud muffin balm. So really cool. Interesting. All right. Now on to the Sam side. So they have stuff for the ladies. They got stuff for the kids. They're all natural. They're amazing ingredients and great for you. And they're from Canada. So you know it's probably better ingredients than America. I'm That's just kidding. I'm, no. I'm really just though. kidding. We love our American companies, but we always kid like the health regulations in Canada and Europe are so much stricter than ours. We believe they're coming to America at some point, and a lot of great companies that we love in America follow those rules anyway because they think it's coming, which is well, great, but not everybody does. Uh, but they have better, better regulations there that we agree with. Mm -hmm. So, 
take it away. This is the all-purpose balm. All-purpose balm. Sam has been using this. I have. So, I use this as a lip balm. because I use it at night, and because my lips get so chapped. Yeah, probably. hers get like painfully. She doesn't drink enough water. I, yeah, it's because I hate water. <laughs> but I use this. I like, it's a big roller and I just slather it on. Okay. This and is it's what good, I use at night. Good, because I have not used this. Yeah. I don't like lip balm. I don't like chapstick. I don't like anything. So I've let her take that side of the review. Yeah. So it says for skin, body, and tattoos. I assume that it's just like a nice soothing ointment type okay. of thing. Okay. Cool. So good. I like it. Good. Yeah, that's my favorite. And then we have four, are these lip balms, four lip balms. One of them is upstairs in your purse. In my purse yes. because I use it all the time. Yeah, so we got back down here to start filming and she was like, there's four. And I was like, no, I got three. And she's like, oh shoot, it's in my purse, but we'll just tell them about it. So what's the one in your purse? So I use the mint one all the time. Smells amazing, very minty. Yeah. Smell, that, your typical minty right. lip balm. Yeah, and that's what I think lip balm probably should be. Gives it, does it give you that little tingle or no? It doesn't, no. Okay, I, I like that little tingle. tingle. All right, uh, vanilla. What do you think about vanilla? Okay, let me re smell them. Okay. She'll re smell them as we go through. Vanilla. It's, good. it's straight up vanilla. Okay, you get the next one ready okay. and I'll smell vanilla. Oh, yeah, I love vanilla. That That's French vanilla to be exact. <laughs> No, French, French vanilla is too sweet. Hey, they're from Canada. It's French. I haven't tried this one because maple and I don't know. I feel like I would smell like pancakes all day. day and be very hungry. Okay. Yeah, so, that would be tough. It just reminds me of like pancakes yeah, and bacon. Yeah, very Canadian. And the banana one. It's very banana-y. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's, I would not I mean, be a I assume that's that what they're going for. Right. So... I love the mint one though. Yeah. If I had to recommend any of them, mint, I don't know if they come in a four pack or whatever, if you get all of them, I like the mint one. Awesome. And then the last three things that we have here are all related. These are called Zen rollers, Zen rollers. And these are supposed to be like your essential oil rollers. And Sam's been using these. When you put them on, where do you place the, the essential oil roller? Everywhere. <laughs> I put them on my wrists. I put them behind my ears. Um, depending on my symptoms, if I have a headache, I put it on my temples. If I'm congested, I'll put it on my temples and like under my nose a little bit. Yeah, and it has that really cool ball roller here yeah. for application. Uh, and so we have three different kinds and they kind of talk about what they're supposed to be used for and mm -hmm. they have benefits, you guys know, with aromatherapy and all that stuff. So the first one is called Anxiety Blend, mm -hmm. Anxiety Blend. So I think this was the first one you used or did you use the headache first? I think I'm going to use the headache one Okay, first. so anxiety blend, you describe the smell here. This is so much more so, your world. I just get a lot of lavender out of this. Okay. Which, I mean, it makes sense because lavender is calming. So Yes. I get a lot of anxiety from the boys. <laughs> it stress me out. Yeah, so I and like I don't. That. I don't. So it's good for her to like yeah. have something to kind of Every go towards. Every day at nap time, nap time is like my downtime. <laughs> I like put that on and I'm like, nice. okay, let's just relax. Nice. So you enjoy that set? I do. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one is Headache. The right. Headache Blend. This is my favorite one because it's pepperminty and I don't know, it just, it's invigorating. It's that yeah. typical peppermint. Yeah. And that, you know, I smell. love, love, love that. And then the last one is Lavender Bliss. Lavender Bliss. And I am a big lavender fan. Big lavender fan at nighttime, especially. Yeah. This, I mean... There must be something else in the anxiety one because it's lavender and maybe like like a spice or something. Let me see. Yeah, shoot, I know what it is, but I can't even, I can't is it even like think of basil? it there. So they have lavender in here for sure. There's rosemary in here, rosemary. so probably that. Okay, that would that's probably what be what we're say. smelling. So lavender and rosemary okay. are the two main. There's probably a couple others in there. So really, really cool. I would. If I'm buying stuff, I just tell this to the guys all the time. Throw something in there for the yeah. lady. Even when I get beard mail, Sam gets excited when there's something in there I for do. her. I do. I like when you guys send me presents. Yeah, so <laughs> think about that, guys. So out of these, uh, the lip balms, the rollers, recommend them. Eh, no. Yeah, I really do. I don't know exactly how well the essential roller impact. Will. Yeah, I know. Yeah. These are my first ones ever. 
I like the way they smell. I feel like maybe they do, you know, give me less anxiety yeah. and take away my headache, but maybe they don't. And but I think they smell good. I think it's kind of cool pampering thing, right? You yeah. got a cool metal roller. You get to get all this. I mean, yeah, I think that's just a cool process. Mm -hmm. So definitely. And then again, guys, the scents, really nice, really pure for exactly what they are. You guys will know what you're getting into. If it's the sticks, you're going to smell sticks in the woods. If it is uh, the sweet tang, you're going to smell an orange citrus. And if it's mocha mint, it is a very nice mint with that mocha, almost chocolatey background, mm -hmm. you know, not so much coffee side of it, which is good. Yeah. Very, very good thing. So awesome. What do you think about their, their artwork, their logo on uh, Nickel City? I like it. I like the, the wood background. Yeah, they got a little wood background there. And then their logo, they got some really cool graphics and stuff online. I'm so. like into this cone. Yeah, oh. so I'll talk about that on the next segment here, but um, it definitely looks really, really cool. <laughs> Imagine that in like a middle school classroom. I feel like you should oh, put yeah. it on a chain. On a chain? They do it. have some. They do really? have some. Not, oh, the, really? not these guys, but they do have uh, the chain. So it's, it's That's funny. one of the most popular beard things on Amazon. Really? Yeah. So okay. We can go drill a little hole on there now that we have a, a hammer drill. <laughs> well, we're getting a lot of tools, guys. All right. Well, as always, Sam C., thank you. You're welcome. Feel in beard. How do these products make my beard feel? How does it style? What is the health like? Everything you need to know about this company. First off, let's talk about their beard oil. This beard oil is at a medium consistency. It's not light, it's not heavy. It does have some castor oil at about the medium length of their ingredients, right? If you read the ingredients list, the thing that is first is the most potent or they have the most of that in there. Uh, castor oil falls somewhere in the middle and the consistency is very, very solid, right on that straight up medium consistency, if you guys can see this here. It's something that I highly, highly prefer, especially as summer's coming around. I have no need for really, really thick beard oils. I do love a good light oil, but I do want to have a medium oil on days where I want to style a little bit better. If I want my beard to be free, a light oil does that. If I want my beard to be styled and not use any balm, something like the Nickel City consistency is going to be really, really good. And so it feels great in beard. They have amazing ingredients. The first oil that they use, the most potent one, is avocado oil. I want to feature that on my next uh, Carrier Oils 101 series so you guys can learn a little bit more about that great ingredient. But it does a lot of good for your skin and your hair. So beard oil, medium, great styling, really good feel in beard. Now the balm, their balm is also a medium consistency here. See if you guys can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit. Moves around pretty easily. There's not much grit or anything. It's very smooth and it does well on the beard. It has about medium consistency for the conditioning and about medium consistency for the hold. I've used this. It's not something that I use every day, but I wanted to try it out for you guys and I made sure I wore it at least twice on a wash day and on a non-wash day and it does really well. If you guys like a medium hold for your balm, this is one for you. Then they also have a mustache wax and the mustache wax is called whisker wax and this whisker wax is really really nice if you're looking for a very very firm mustache wax with no scent this is one you guys should look for i had to use a pick to get it out but it emulsified pretty well to the point where you can use it right it's not going to turn to in complete oil like you would with a balm or butter sometimes but it allows you to get that mustache going. I just recently trimmed my mustache, but before this, when I was using it, I had it a really full mustache and it did a good job of containing it. You guys know with me, it's no hidden secret that I don't exactly love mustache wax, but I do like to test it out so you guys can see what works and what does not work. And then another thing they threw in here, feeling beard, is they threw in a really cool metal comb with the uh, mustache on there. And for me, this is more kind of a showpiece. I'm not actually going to use a metal comb. That's not very practical for me. But if I have it on my desk at school, you know that's something where students are going to come up and be like, oh, that's so cool. Look at Mr. Command's got that metal mustache comb. So I definitely appreciate that and like that. So oil, medium, really, really great. That is my favorite product from these guys is the oil balm on the medium side as well I would say kind of the market average there and then a really good firm and unscented mustache wax rebuy would I look to acquire any of these products again try anything new from this company and most importantly recommend them to you guys I absolutely would 
Depends what you're looking for, but I feel like they have something that can complement your family. I highly recommend the non-beard products, something for the misses, something for the kids at home. You know it's going to be healthy, it's going to be great for them, it's going to bring them a little bit of joy and also help them invest into your hobby. You heard from Sam, so I think that's great perspective there. Now the beard oil, my favorite from this company. I really enjoy the consistency. I really like the feel of it. They don't have any sense that are going to knock your socks off or be crazy, crazy complex, but I could see them working into that. But the sense that they do have are pure to what they are, and you got to appreciate that. If it's something that sounds good to you, even in the description from the picture that we painted, you know that you guys would like that. So definitely, medium consistency balm, that firm mustache wax, they have something for you guys. So I do highly recommend this, especially with that free shipping to America, 10% off. And if there's any Canadians up there looking for local companies, check these guys out out of Ontario. So question to leave you guys with, speaking of being out of Ontario, as I mentioned, they have a partnership with their local chapter of the Bearded Villains and they work together. And I think that's pretty cool. I've seen certain uh, Bearded Villain posts on Instagram and they put their company of choice, right? When they tag everybody on their tags, they put on their beard care choice and then they put a company. I don't see a ton of companies aligned with chapters and maybe I just have missed them or that's just something that I don't know about. But is that something that you guys think is a good idea? Seeing these companies get involved in the bearded communities and brotherhoods like the bearded villains? Or is there some downside that you think eh, companies should stay out of that? I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say with all unbiased opinions and all just truths and things that you guys are looking at and observing. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I know a lot of these brotherhoods do a lot of charity work and if companies can get involved with that, I think it only helps. So. I'm interested to get your guys' angle and feedback because I know a lot of you are Bearded Villains or you're on the Bearded Rebellion or whatever it may be. Let me know, guys. So thank you for watching today. I hope you learned something about this Canadian company. And please, stay bearded and stay positive.